Dave Chappelle has a solution for people using their smartphones at comedy shows. Ah, what a bummer, said no stand-up ever. Uh, yeah. So pretty much what is happening is he's partnered with the company Yonder, and they're giving out these gray pouches at the shows, and you put your phone in the gray pouch, and then as soon as you enter the venue, the gray pouch will lock. So it's pretty much called, like, cell phone jail. And the only way that you can get your phone unlocked from this gray pouch that is in your possession the whole time is you have to leave the venue, and then you can, you know, make the text that you need to make or make that important phone call that just can't wait. Um, and so that is his solution. But some people are saying that, you know, if it hadn't been for uh, people having their cell phones at shows, then Hannibal Buress's, uh infamous Bill Cosby rant wouldn't, you know, have gone public, and then we wouldn't all hate Bill Cosby. Um, Justfully, yeah, so. yeah. Um, so, what do you think about that? Oh, I like the idea of it. My first reaction is like, oh, of course, that's great. Yes. Because that's the most annoying thing is to look out and see people on their phones. And there's stuff going on in like Broadway shows. People mm -hmm. have heard about like, uh, you know, people stopping what they're doing or like characters going out into the audience and like taking people's phones away. This is Tyrone. <laughs> the downside is. Like, I like the moments that I've seen at shows, and I know it, it, this shouldn't become the norm, but I like the moments I've seen at, like, stand-up shows where mm -hmm. they, like, look out in the audience and call out someone for being on yeah, their phone. Yeah, yeah. It's a good audience interaction. But um, I think it's a good thing for from the perspective of the performers just to have uh, some, create, like, a convention, mm -hmm. something like the pouch. Oh, the pouch. Everyone knows the pouch. I want it to become ubiquitous so that everyone knows when they go into a, a venue like that, mm -hmm. they pull out their phone, they put their phones away, and it's not happening. Right. But I think in the case of an emergency, I want to be, I want to be, as an audience member, trusted mm -hmm. that I won't check my phone mm -hmm. and be able to call in the case of an emergency someone to mm -hmm. to handle something during a show. Yeah, and I think it's sad that we've gotten to a point where people clearly cannot just respect not using their phones at shows, that there has to be something like this implicated. But that being said, it seems like a really good piece of technology that is gonna be really effective. And there is nothing more distracting than when I'm on stage and you see someone on their phone because not only does that indicate that they don't think I'm funny, they don't even think I'm interesting to look at. Like, mm -hmm. I'm literally a live performer putting myself out there, and if someone's on their phone, it's like, all right, well, I'll just go f myself then. Like, that's fine. <laughs> now, if you started f yourself, I'm sure they'd pull out their phone. I think that too. they would. That's the strategy. Another mm -hmm. thing that maybe Dave Chappelle should consider, um, just engaging in sex acts whenever someone's on their phone. Um, yeah. But what I, what I will say about this is that... Um, I think that it is up to the comedian if they want to record their set. Because I know that that's how a lot of my friend, like, comics do it these days, is that if they want their set recorded, they'll just, you know, record it on their phone and put it off stage somewhere, and there you have it. And if something crazy happens, like if, if they have a Hannibal Buress moment, then it's theirs to share on Twitter at their own discretion, if they so choose. I think that, um... I, I don't think I'm gonna miss having audience members uh, be able to record sets because um, Chris Rock even mentioned that there is a little bit of self-censorship when you're trying out new material because you know that someone someone somewhere could be recording these new jokes and yes. if they don't do well, then they're like, Chris Rock isn't funny anymore. And, and that's not fair. And I've been to like, you know, movie screenings mm -hmm. or it's illegal for you to record stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it, this is a show that you pay to see, mm -hmm. to go into and watch in a restricted way where you can't record and redistribute for mm -hmm. your own benefit. Having cell phones, which are not just recording devices, but everything else that mm -hmm. they do, has muddied the waters in terms exactly. of what we can classify this as and how much power that gives us mm -hmm. to, um, to, to make you not use it. Yeah. You know, I, I think that there should be some, there could be a technological solution that, disables the phone, gets mm -hmm. around it. There should be something like that that maybe yeah. venues can work in conjunction with um, with the technology companies to say, like, just the way there's an airplane mode, maybe there can be yeah, a, a performance, performance mode. mode. Yeah. Um, but uh, that won't, that'll only get rid of the recording option, but it won't get rid of, like, that stupid glow that everyone I thinks know. that they're getting. They're, like, making that happen, but, like, the face lights up. Everyone's yeah. like, oh, cool, no one will see my screen. But meanwhile, <laughs> their entire torso is a beacon. All right, what do you guys think? You want to text during my next show? Uh, let us know in the comments section below, and we'll see you next time on Pop Triggers. <laughs>